round out our roster news. LaShawn McCoy, he's our Ford power player for today. And Shady been very vocal about his goal of reaching 2,000 yards on the ground this season. The big question, can he actually accomplish that? He's in great shape. He's playing for a big-time offense. But are the days of the 2,000-yard rusher gone, especially in an offense like Philly, Ben? Yeah, I don't think there's any way he hits 2,000 yards on the ground. Uh, I believe there's been seven other guys who have done it, uh, and Shady had a career high in carries last year and finished well below 2,000 yards. Uh, I do believe he'll hit 2,000 yards from scrimmage, including receiving and rushing, but even in a great offensive system uh, like Philly, I just don't think backs are going to get enough carries anymore. And Doug, I mean, the addition of Darren Sproles, what role does that play with McCoy? Does it actually maybe help him uh, maybe avoid injury this year, take a little bit of the load off and, you know, not try reaching 2,000 yards, kind of split up the carries a little more than he would have in years past? Yeah, I did a series on NFL players training uh, last month, and McCoy was done in the L.A. gym I went to, and uh, the guy's working harder than ever before. I mean, if it'll be the lack of carries that limits him or potential injury scares. I think what Sproles will do is open that offense up even more. It'll be like uh, DeAnthony Thomas was at Oregon for Chip Kelly's offense, sort of that variable, movable chess piece. It'll put that third linebacker or that nickel cornerback on a string. It'll just open up more for LaShawn McCoy, either as a runner or catching passes out of the backfield, because Sproles will line up wide, he'll line up slot, he'll motion a lot, and it's just one more way to set defenses on edge. It'll only help LaShawn McCoy, and talking to LaShawn, he is thrilled about the addition. Hit me. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. All right, go along. You ready?